So we're up to doing the valves on this. So the first thing I do, obviously you take the cover off, and this is 10 millimeter. You know, Honda is basically almost everything is 10 millimeter. I take the cover off, and before you get started, wipe the cover off. You don't have to remove all the old RTV. Just peel off anything that's, you know, peely. And you don't want anything falling in the motor, so if anything kind of was going in towards the motor, remove that. But the rest you can leave. Clean off the cover, same thing with the cover. Uh, and when I say clean it, you don't have to remove the RTV on that either, just anything peely. Wipe the gasket area with a little brake cleaner or gum out or something so there's no oil on it. And then put your RTV on a very thin bead and just go over with my finger, thin. Because if it's mewing over and a piece falls into the engine, it causes all kinds of problems. It pro problems with the oil or it can get stuck underneath these gears. It's just bad, yeah. So put this to the side because you want this left out in the air for at least 15 minutes set your timer on something on your phone or something and don't put it on give it at least 15 minutes of time to activate in the air so it starts to create a skin and then we'll put it on and we're gonna put it on we're not gonna you know drive it home and crush everything out of it but we want to be mindful of when we tighten it that we're putting it on and we're not gonna destroy the gasket surface and you won't have any problems so then you can go and play around in here and adjust it and check it so I've already brought it up to TDC, and so there's a couple of ways. Since we have the cover off, we can look at the flywheel magnets down here, and I can see they're up at the top. And I've also gone through the valve events, and we'll go through that one, one more time. So we're up where it should be firing in this area, and I've already checked them, okay? So I know they're a little loose. They're pretty close to being perfect. I don't think there's a lot of hours on this motor, probably somewhere around 100 hours for most overhead valve engines uh, you should be checking and adjusting the valves with, from a new motor um, so that's what we're going to do we're going to make sure that this is okay and what I found is just a little loose maybe a thou <clears throat> I like to be somewhere around five thousandths and eight thousandths this is intake this is exhaust five and eight so let's go through the event now we should fire and we're going to have an exhaust event here comes the exhaust because it wants to get rid of the spent gases then we're going to start sucking Okay, fresh charge. All right, and we're going to come around for compression and then fire, and that's TDC. So here comes the magnets. Okay, here comes the magnet. There'll be a little compression bump where the exhaust valve will open a little bit. All right, just to release some of the compression. Here comes the magnet, and I'm looking over to the side. So right about here is TDC. So this is where we can check it. <clears throat> now, I already know that they're a little loose, so we're going to tighten. So what we need to do, okay, is turn the center tappet, or the adjuster, in. And to do that, we're going to take our 9mm, we're going to loosen it just a little bit. We're going to see if we can turn it. Just enough so we can turn it, not quite yet. This happens to be something where you could, it's got flats on it. So we're going to turn it, and then we're going to snug it up again. And then we're going to check it. There's an eight thousandths. Okay, I could use a little more. Now when you tighten up on the adjusting nut, you're actually going to pull that center stud up, creating more clearance. So you tend to have to go a little bit more. We'll loosen on the nut, turn the center stud, tighten the jam nut, check it. That might be too far. No, nope. well, actually that's very good. Okay, and I'm going to get a little bit more clearance when I tighten that nut. Because it's going to pull that stud up, creating a little bit more clearance to the valve. And that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, now we're going to switch to five. And it's the same thing. I already know. So we're going to do the same procedure. I'll loosen the jam nut just enough to give a good you know, turn. Now, how much you turn is based upon, you know, really you got to walk it through and feel it. Uh, how much does it need to be adjusted is, you know, you have to experiment. Still needs a little bit more. 
like I said, it, it needed an adjustment. It hasn't been done. Snug it, check it. Oh, needs a little bit more. Now, this one really needed a, a, a good adjustment. It was close, but okay, we'll go a little more. There we go. It actually had just a scotch more. That should do it. And let's get it good and tight. Make sure both of them are tight. Yep. One last check. That's beautiful. All right, we're done with that, guys. I'm going to go clean a plug. And after about 15, 20 minutes is elapsed, I'll put the cover back on. And then we can start thinking about, we'll check the oil, and we'll think about putting some fuel in it, and we'll get it started. We'll be back. Now, here's another thing you can do if you're worried about stuff getting in the motor. Okay. What you can do, and you just got to remember, all right, you can put your cover on after about 15, 20. And... I like to put a little bit of oil or anti-seize on these threads. These type of threads, they're cutting threads, so they used to kind of cut their way in originally. But once they're in, right, you don't want to damage the threads. So just put a, a dab of oil, or in this case here, we're using a little anti-seize. Make sure they go in straight, because like I said, they'll cut their way in and then they'll ruin the threads that are already there and just snug it and we'll come back you could heat the motor up you could do a quick test or if enough time goes by before you start the motor then you can snug them a little tighter all right but if the key factor is is don't don't over tighten it and i'm going to start off with so that i don't cause a problem all right, we're going to use this nut driver adapter to get them started. And that's why I like to use the hand tools, especially in the quarter inch drive, for a lot of things on these little motors. These are small engines, it's not auto mechanics. It's not rocket science. So we're going to use this to snug it so that I know. There we go. All right, and that'll still allow it, because we don't want to compress the gasket goop out of the way yet. Now, at the very least, you won't get junk in the motor or drop something in there while you're finishing up. And it'll allow it a chance to do its thing without you destroying it. Okay, we're ready for some kind of a test. So, it's on. There's a choke, which you pull out. You don't primer or anything. You've got to get the fuel pump to do its thing. And I may have to put it on the ground because I really can't pull it like this. But uh, I don't know. We'll just give it a couple of quick pulls and see. See if it doesn't have to do anything. want to test at some point with the air filter on it can make a difference I also want to mention too that um, these don't really run without some kind of a load this is trying to run at full throttle most of the time there's no idle down there's really no idle per se so don't worry so much about surging all right you hear I hear a micro surge in there but again it's going to be under load you want to know what it does there you don't want to hear the round, 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 the kicking, you know, all that. So, uh, but that really kind of smoothed out. Now, it might smooth out even more as we run it. Remember, this thing hasn't been running in a long time. 